Hello. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome back to another exciting episode, except uh, we're not going to be playing games today. See, um, well, I had a project, right? It all started with a project. Um, and I was going to do, I was supposed to be doing work on a, like a specific topic of my choosing for my biology class, right? And I chose the topic of accelerated aging. So I wanted to do that, and I did some research, and <laughs> turns out there is no real conclusive um, evidence of accelerated aging as we, as one would think. Like, like say per se, um, think about how to put this. Um, think about accelerated aging such as Evelyn in Resident Evil 7. She was um, growing at an expedient rate um, outside of her body. In, in outside of her body, she gained the appearance of, say, a 90-year-old woman. Um, and, but her mind inside, she was still, like, I don't know, like 10? 10 years old? See, that, that's the kind of um, accelerated aging that we were all thinking about. But you see, the accelerated aging that I chanced upon was actually a lot more serious than I actually would have believed. So, you see, <clears throat> what I came across was this affliction, this um, genetic affliction called progeria. And... What progeria does is it's, it's essentially what I talked about except reversed. You see, what it does is that it takes um, children co basically coming out of the womb and these children are already growing internally at an expedient rate. Um, this is why they unfortunately do not live very long lives. And I believe the, don't, don't quote me on this, <laughs> I believe the average um, age of life, their average lifespan with this affliction is about 14 years. And it really hit home when I came, when I um, thought about it like that, like, think about it, 14 years? Th think about that, where were you when... I was 14, when I, when, I, when I was 14, I was in middle school, I was coming home, doing work, playing my Wii in, in my room, like that, just thinking about one of those days, I could just, life story over, that, that, I just, just the thought of that just, just amazed me, and then there's some kids that are going through this with that worse than that, like, they're not just aging, they're not just, like, going through, they're not just dying at age 14, like, no, their whole body, their internally is basically becoming almost to 90, 90 years old. This is why they die of common elderly problems such as atherosclerosis, which is basically hardening of the arteries, which doesn't really happen until you reach those big life. So, why why am I talking about this? That's basically one of the big questions that you guys might be asking. Um, well, I'm taught, my teacher um, asked me to advocate for our topic. That's uh, the final um, project for this course. And um, the more I thought about it, the more I couldn't, like, I can't rap. Like, I couldn't think of a way to advocate for... Um, accelerated aging in the way that I thought of it originally. I thought of it as just, you know, people just growing older at twice, three times the speed. Uh, that's still, that's not as good, but it's still, it's still something. But I thought that, you know, it, um, I thought I wouldn't be, I, I didn't know how to advocate for it, such as something like um, eating healthier, 
working out, something like that. It's really hard to advocate for accelerated aging. It's like, this is something you're born with, like it's genetic. I can't really advocate against it or advocate for it. I can't really give you uh, a way to avoid it. It's just, it's basically, that's the sad part about progeria and that's why it's a problem. To me, it's a problem. That's why it's a problem because um, it's basically the hand that you're dealt with at birth and there's nothing you can really do about it. You just have to live with it with what little time you have. And that's why I, this is how I'm going to advocate for it. Is basically, you guys, just live. Don't, don't waste time. Because, like I said, 14, they, their average death rate for them is, the average, not average death rate, but the average lifespan for them is 14 years old. Like, think about that. Like, I, did, I didn't do anything significant when I was 14. Like, jeez. Just thinking about that and putting it in perspective, all that time, all that time, like I'm 19 now, like, and I, st I can't even say I still have done anything of, like, significance with my life. I haven't really made a name for myself. I, I, I mean, I've, I've kind of put my na name out there. I haven't, but it hasn't really kicked off. It's just, don't waste the time that you have guys because sadly we only have one life and other than that that's that's all you get that, that's that's just all that's just the hand that you're dealt but you can't just live going through life on doing not thinking about where you're stepping and where are you going? Because you can't, you don't have time for that. And it's it's almost like you don't have time for that. Because you just need to, you need to live. You need to go out and fulfill your dreams. You need to go out and do what you need to do. Go out there and just, just live. Like, even sometimes I'll, I'll sit here at home and, when the family is just using every mode of transportation, I, I'm just sitting here at home and I'm just wondering, am I supposed, is this the good thing? I just spend a whole day at home. No, that's, I, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be going out doing things. I should be going out learning things. I should be going out figuring things out. I should be doing tons of stuff. Because other people don't get that chance. Other people don't get the chance to walk outside. Some people without progeria don't even some people just don't live in countries where they can do that stuff you know some people just have responsibilities that they have to take care of every day and i'm like stuff like me people like me people in other people the people don't have a chance to do this to make videos or to make to put your name out there to have fun games to make, play youtube videos to, people don't have time for that some people just have to do responsibilities and that's all their life is is just one responsibility and i'm not selling i'm not saying that you have to go out and basically do everything and try and just go out and live life freely don't live with regrets don't look back on don't have anything on your at the end of your life and i know this may sound a lot from coming from 19 i'm only 19 but still just Go out and do your best, guys. Don't sit here and wait for something to happen. Don't wait for someone to come in and fill in your destiny. Because other people, some people don't have those choices. Some people are prisoners of their own fate. Some people are don't have, have long lifespans. Some people just don't have the time to do it. Some people are just stuck. So it's up to it's up to us to not let their memory be forgotten. Don't let them don't let us waste that potential that they have basically. Because we only get this one life, guys. And without it, that's it. After at the end, that's it. I, I don't know what happened. Honestly, I'm not gonna say sit here and say I know what happens afterwards, but 
to to the knowledge I know about life and seeing uh, I don't know that that's that's it at the end of the game that, that's the end of the game game over and when you think about it like that you got I know it's I know it's hard because I've sat I sat to your in my house a lot and thought about it and wondered if this if I actually was doing the right way if I actually was doing the right things but when it comes down to it we only have one life and I know it's bad to think about it that way but sometimes at some point you gotta accept the fact that you're just not gonna be here for long and if you don't do what you need to do or if you don't do what you want to do in this one life then you may not get a second chance uh, yeah <laughs> oh but that's really all I wanted to bring to you guys attention is to just don't go out there and live life with regrets basically just go out there and live life the way you want to I'm talking to you it may not seem like you're special now but I know that you're that somewhere out there something in you is special and somebody somewhere is waiting to see it but if you stay in one place nobody's ever gonna see but at the end you just gotta live life live life to the fullest do the best you can because like I said we only get this one life guys and that's the that was a serious talk I had with myself today while I was doing that project and this is pretty much the only way I could figure out to advocate it from it other than sounding like an infomercial saying oh yeah you can go donate to uh, Donate to the Progeria Research Foundation. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. that that'd that be great, but still, like, it, lots of people. I didn't want you guys to, like, shut me out, even though <laughs> I did just go with the you only live this one life cliche, but, you know, it, it still works. Like, it, it works better than the alternative, which is me basically asking you for money. No, I was not sponsored to do this, by the way, guys, in the case of the wonder, I'm not sponsored to do this. I just... I had it on my heart to say this while it was still fresh in my mind, and I wanted to personally say this, that I just, let, we only have one life, that's basically it. But otherwise, I thank you guys for listening to my little um, rant here, and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Um, Catch you guys on the flip side. Metal Gear uh, signing out here.